hello um, hello friends uh, today we'll start uh, with a new chapter that is industry 4.0 uh, this is the first video what we uh, what i'm making on industry 4.0 so let us have uh, what all the uh, things are there uh, for the syllabus that is future of automated uh, factory industry 4.0 that is the functions of that one applications and benefits components of industry 4.0 IoT that is Internet of Things, IoT applications in manufacturing, big data, cloud computing, IoT for smart manufacturing, influence of IoT on predictive maintenance, industrial automation, supply chain optimization, supply chain logistics, cyber physical manufacturing systems. Okay, so these are all the topics what we will be uh, covering in the further uh, uh, all the videos of this chapter. So today uh, we will start with first introduction to industry 4.0 okay so what is the purpose behind industry 4.0 why we need it why uh, what made us to uh, manufacture uh, what made us to uh, go for industry 4.0 so that is the main thing what we need to understand that we will go on discussing here so here we have the scarber who uh, first thought of uh, this industrial revolution to make a, a fully automated industry uh, automation uh, uh, automation to the higher extent okay so that is what uh, let us first understand uh, what is industry 4.0 what we why we call it like that what it is okay we define industry 4.0 as the next phase in the digitization of the manufacturing sector okay so commonly uh, 4.0 industry 4.0 if we take the name it seems like some uh, digi uh, some uh, software and all but that is what uh, it is a version commonly we call it as a version industry 1 industry 2 industry 4, 4 3 4 like this so this is the one version where everything is digitalized i mean the processes what we have in the manufacturing system those things and uh, uh, the planning the systems the designing systems the processing systems everything will be digitalized okay so we will be almost eliminating the human work in the production system so that is what uh, we have the industry 4.0 okay uh, industry 4.0 it is also referred as uh, as the fourth industrial revolution uh, includes the heavy use of automation technologies and a greater exchange of data in manufacturing environments such as factories okay that is what uh, uh, automation and one more thing where it exchange of data okay data uh, how to manage the data and automation both things are very well very well uh, systematically planned systematically digitalized here in industry 4.0 okay now here uh, we can have uh, the uh, thing the phase how it is been changing okay so first uh, there was uh, we can see here first uh, we had agriculture revolution so next uh, outer 8000 years industrial revolution we had next uh, comes the light bulb next comes the after 90 years moon landing so how we went on upgrading ourselves next come world wide web that is what the internet we got next comes human genuine squeezed okay that is what where we started uh, thinking uh, we started uh, we making machines uh, which who who can think like human okay we start to do that that is what we have the intelligence uh, commonly we call it as artificial intelligence and machine learning which is the present uh, trend the topic going on the same thing is been implemented in industry okay artificial intelligence and machine learning ai and mi so these are been implemented in industries that is what we have industry 4.0 okay so you can see again the strategies the accelerating phase of change how it is been uh, evolutions okay how it is been occurring here time to reach 100 million customers okay so that is what uh, we uh, time to reach 100 million customers first how much time it used to take and now how much it takes okay if we had single telephone we we need 75 years to reach 100 million customers okay now when it when we had web seven years we need when we had facebook four years we have when we had instagram when we got internet two years now popcorn go on uh, it is again uh, uh, a network where only one month is enough to reach whole hundred million customers okay you can see how uh, how how the digitization works uh, along with the industry okay 
next comes uh, here also the evolution you can see that is uh, from industry 1 to industry 4.0 Sorry. So first industrial revolution it is based on the introduction of mechanical production equipment driven by water and steam power. Okay, So the power generation by water and steam power that was the first industrial revolution uh, which used to happen in 1784. Okay. Next comes the second uh, uh, industrial revolution where uh, it was based on mass production achieved by division of labor concept and the use of electrical energy okay so these were the uh, revolutions happened as the second point okay where mass production was concentrated and uh, systematic utilization of the labors was also been done in 1870 that was the second industrial revolution occurred then the third industrial revolution uh, was based on the use of electronics and IT for the further automate production that is nothing almost it was the, in the 19th century that is 1969 okay first programmer logic controller PLC uh, I mean uh, logic logic programmable logic controller was used in the industry that is in 1969 that was the third revolution where automation started okay next last comes the fourth industrial revolution that is at present what we are studying here and what we are uh, going through okay so that is uh, today what we have in almost it started from 2010 2005 to 2010 it started okay so that is the first industrial revolution based on the use of cyber physical systems okay commonly artificial intelligence systems okay so and uh, at the same time you can see one more graph here that is uh, the degree of complexity how it goes on increases of course uh, when uh, it was first revolution it was very comp it was not much complicated second it was a little bit complicated third again automation where programmers we used to write programs and all that was a, a bit uh, complicated and the fourth again comes the artificial intelligence where it is a highly technical technicalized digitalized systems and which are very difficult to uh, work out and uh, understand to manufacture to compose those things okay that is what we have the industry 4.0 uh, now here also again uh, one more uh, strategy we have how industrial revolution took place in 1800 the invention of mechanical production power that is what we discussed till now uh, till now what we discussed okay now today what it is going on let us discuss only that one and future what we have here so these two that is 2000 after 2015 okay digital supply chain was there smart manufacturing started digital products services and business models which uh, this one also included uh, accuracy and mass production both the things were in, uh, increased data and uh, analytics and action as a core competency okay so customized products were started manufacturing in a very short time so to get, to get getting the feedbacks from the customers were and the market were, was became very easy by digitalization so like this uh, some of the concepts uh, were very very simplified by digitalization okay next uh, that is what the prediction in 2030 digital ecosystem will be formed flexible and integrated value chain networks will be formed Virt uh, virtualized processes will be there virtualized customer interference will be there that is uh, directly customer to the shop floor connection will be there and the industry calibration is a key value driver that is what uh, almost uh, the points which will be uh, coming under digital ecosystem at 2030 what we can predict so this is how the evolutions are being uh, taken uh, taking place okay here also a, a cycle is there where you can uh, check uh, sh uh, we can go for again so many things there's a flexibility larger product variants cost efficiently for both large volume and small quantities it will be cost efficiently and shorter lead time and product life cycle that is quickly these all the properties uh, by uh, what we can have here okay flexibility cost efficiently and quickly okay these are the things what we can uh, have next uh, digitalization uh, automation connectivity and analysis 
so again uh, let us uh, think about digitalization automation connectivity analytics all are interrelated here how it works and all okay how digitalization takes place automation connectivity analytics these are the four main things what we need to concentrate in industry 4.0 how digitalization has can be done how automation can be done how connectivity has to be created and analytics data analytics how it can be done okay so we have a root chart here how it will be going on first suppliers will be there uh, 3d printing active uh, additive manufacturing unit that one uh, example we have taken advanced materials are there robots are there advanced manufacturing systems autonomous vehicle uh, vehicles are there last is the customers okay in between these again we have uh, cloud compute here you can see how cyber security needs for cloud computing cloud computing is nothing but storing the data in the cloud and big data is there management data management so then resources for the future what all is there and mass customization okay so that will be again stored in the big data then iot for customers we need iot also so these are how it is been interrelated each other and these things for sure we are uh, going on studying one by one further okay so you can see here emerging uh, uh, cyber physical system based automation how it, how it is been uh, getting into demand uh, of uh, internet things you can see the global market size forecast in 2019 uh, uh, system that is smart factory technology okay which uh, will have the global market size of uh, 7 point 74.80 billion usd by 2022 that is what the production is there okay so this is a short introduction about four point industry 4.0 okay in next uh, video we'll be going on studying in detail the remaining things thank you